Hello, hello. Thank you for attending our webinar, teaching the world how to leverage technology and a school system where technology has been placed to the back. I know you're probably wondering why we have Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook's picture um, on the slideshow right now um, as people are chiming in. Um, but, um, you know, I want to go ahead and tell you that Mark Zuckerberg is a dynamic guy. Um, I would love to meet him one day. I definitely follow him. I think he did a phenomenal job with what he did with Facebook, and he continues to keep pushing the envelope. And um, and hopefully, um, you know, soon he'll even be going to Mars. This guy is, is amazing. Um, and we have a lot of common. I mean, you know, you know, you know, that guy has a uh, has a big smile. I have a big smile. That's me. Um, he has a sweater. I have a sweater. Uh, he's a billionaire and I'm a thousandaire. All right. So, <laughs> so without further ado, I'd like to get right into the uh, webinar. It looks like we have uh, a lot of people that are chiming in from all over the place. Um, so I want to start out by saying thanks again for uh, attending the webinar. My name is T.C. Bell. I'm the CEO of Evolution Digital Marketing Agency. Uh, CEO stands for Chief Education Officer. Um, I definitely believe in, in giving out all the information that I possibly can. A lot of the information I receive for free, who am I to charge you for that? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to leverage technology inside of an educational um, environment. Um, a great tool for that is obviously the mobile application. Um, our company specializes in the five key areas of online presence, SEO, uh, web design, uh, social media reputation management, and mobile. Um, so today we're going to talk about how mobile app development can change the landscape and, um, and the engagement process of your school. Specifically, we're going to look at a school that we presented to uh, in person um, about a week ago, um, which is Guilford High School, a school out of Illinois. So just to set the stage, I'd like to tell you, um, you know, exactly what you should expect from this webinar. We're not going to take up much of your time, but we are going to give you a strong overview of what we can do to uh, do one of to do uh, one or more of of, of, um, of three things that we believe that is necessary. Um, to um, foster um, school engagement. So we focus on information, engagement, and call to action. Information, engagement, and call to action. So just to set the stage, um, we are going to talk about what's happening now at your school. We're going to take a quick look under the hood of Guilford High School. We're going to show you five ways a mobile app can increase your fans your fan base, which is the parents, teachers, community, and students. We are going to also um, show you a quick demo of a mobile app on all of its features and functionality. And if we have any time left ever, uh, we're going to make sure that we also give you um, a time for a quick Q&A. So what's happening now? Obviously, the trends are moving towards um, everything digital. We're living in the digital age. Never before has information been so accessible as it is right now. Almost the entire population has a cell phone and are literally a push of a button away at any given time. So, so, so what exactly is happening in your, in your school or in most of the schools in general across the United States? You know, teachers, um, faculty members have a hard time fostering school engagement to increase participation. That's a difficult task. Communication in general is becoming more and more digital in nature, especially for students. They all have cell phones, they all have smartphones, they're always online, they're always jacked in. Parents, students, and teachers are overwhelmed with the amount of information they re they're required to send out and receive that a lot of times they dismiss it or they don't really pay attention. Booster clubs and internal organizations like PTOs, they lack an efficient way of marketing their events, their fundraisers, um, which hurts their donations um, and overall, you know, hurts the school from moving forward because they can't buy certain things that are necessary for teams. Um, it's hard to track the fan base 
and communicate with them and then also to deliver them information when they need to. So that's that's really what's happening now. Um, and if your school, you know, is 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 along those lines, then guess what? You're in the right place right now. So the big question here is how can your school start building relationship with your digital stakeholders, your parents, teachers, students, and community? Our solution is simple. You need a mobile application. You need a mobile device that anyone can go to at any given time to look up information, to engage with the information that you place, to ask questions, give your feedback, check dates, um, you know, check in when they go to an event, um, join some form of loyalty program, shop through your swag at the school, buying shirts and hoodies and all the great things that raise money for the boosters and the PTOs and the school system. So a mobile application is your definitive solution for a lack of information, engagement, and call to action. So looking under the hood specifically at Guilford High School, we looked at the reviews, which our mobile application allows you to automatically receive feedback from the people that are that are downloading the app. So we can call people to action to, to ask for feedback to solicit um, you know, negative or positive response to understand more about the things that need to be changed and things that we need to upgrade or provide us with help to come to solutions for issues um, preemptively. So we look at the reviews for the school and as a new mover or maybe I have an incoming freshman, if I was going to look at Guilford High School, I would look at the fact that they have only 22 reviews and they've had thousands and thousands of students that have came through the school, but why aren't their parents giving reviews here? And if, if you take it one step further, I mean, you can even look at the fact that, that, you know, if you look at Guilford High School, excuse me, Guilford High School here, you'll see that they're only rated a, a two out of five stars. So there's definitely some room to, for improvement. If you look right here, you can see that they didn't even take the time to claim their, their Google page yet. Um, so there's definitely some opportunity here. We'd love to um, utilize the mobile application to turn this all the way around and do it relatively quickly because once we have people that have downloaded the application, we can quickly call them to action right through their mobile device and make things a lot easier for them to give reviews. We also looked at their Facebook. Now, we teach our clients how to use Facebook to deliver information and content by building up your mobile app um, users, your fan base, what happens is we can then in turn push and pull people directly to our Facebook page, which is a great place to store images and to send out information and tag people in um, to get that true cross um, engagement from parents, students, community. You know, if you have um, little Timmy, he ran 30 yards, um, you know, after a blocked field goal and made a touchdown to win the game. I mean, that's something great that you want to put inside of the app. Specifically, you want to probably put it on Facebook so you can tag the child, tag his parents, and so forth, and um, and really give them, get that recognition, recognition piece going. So I like questions. I hope you guys like questions too. Um, if most of you are administrators or faculty members, um, teachers, if you know, I know you like questions, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, I'd like you to, to just think, and all these things are rhetorical, you might want to jot down your answers, but these are questions that we definitely would ask you if we were face-to-face. -face. I want you to really put this, you know, in the front of your mind um, as we go through the rest of the um, second half of the presentation. So how do you communicate right now? How do you communicate important events or information to students, parents, and the community? Even teachers, how do you communicate those things? Is it antiquated? Do you sometimes miss, miss, um, you know, dates, times. Would you like to get feedback about some of the things that are communicated? Second question, do you think that the parents would enjoy having all the main information located in one central place instead of having to go through, um, particularly Guilford has three different portals that parents should go to, you know, um, to get different types of information. If I'm a parent, that means I have to literally favorite or remember three different websites. 
we can build all these things right into the um, back end of the mobile application. That way they can easily get to um, the information through a hub. Question three, how hard is it to get everyone on the same page when changes are made? Let's just say, for instance, something simple. You know, um, a game practice is rained out and you have tons of parents that are traveling to the practice rushing from work. If they get there and practice is rained out, they're going to be mad. So, uh, you know, wouldn't it be good to just be able to send a message out that will go right through their cell phone? That way they, you know, you can do that with a press of a button. It goes out to everyone at any given time and, um, and just an easy, easy way of dispersing information. Question four, how do you congratulate students publicly when they do something that's newsworthy? Most high schools have a news department or at least a yearbook department that could definitely um, utilize the mobile application to ultimately freeze things in time. You know, um, it can stay in the application forever if you wanted to. Um, an image of someone that maybe broke the school record or, you know, or maybe it could be you know, the school records can be inside of a tab inside of the application. That way people can actually go to the app and look up the records and try to beat it. And when they beat the record, they can then in turn, you know, um, engage that page saying, hey, I just beat the record. It was um, noted by, you know, Coach Zimmerman. And, you know, they're going to put me on this page next week. You know, they can engage those records. Um, they can actually send messages into that into the application. And question five, how do you raise money today? And would it be better to go direct to donors for funding? Would it be better to go directly to a donor for funding? How about if you have a thousand parents and you're raising a thousand dollars? Well, that's only a dollar per parent. Maybe if they give five dollars a parent, you give them something back, ten dollars, maybe a t-shirt. We can do all that and we can call them to action with one button they can click and link right directly directly to the page to to um, send a donation right through the mobile application. Just a, it's an awesome way of keeping things really simple. You know, we're raising a thousand dollars. Click here to donate a minimum of one dollar. Click here to donate at least one dollar. It would change it. It would make a difference. So so these are the questions that I want you to keep on you know front of your mind as we finish up the um, presentation and do a quick demo. But but to be honest with you, these are the main questions and um, that I ask my, my clients um, because of the fact that if we can fix these things, we can truly make a huge difference in how you inform, engage, and call people to action in your school system today. So picture this. What if you could capitalize from your fan base and interact with them at any time? How big of a differentiator would that be for your school? How much in, is engagement and communication really worth to your school and how much would it set you apart from your other schools, your competition, especially if you're a private school and you're, and you're watching the webinar today? What a differentiator it would make you in the market if you're the only one that has a mobile application that does so many different things. So how a mobile app could benefit your school is very simple. Five different ways. We talked about the five ways in the beginning. This is very important. Number one, we're going to drive repeat visitors. We're going to reward sponsors for their donations, send push notifications to remind fans of events, swag specials, conferences, community uh, info, and more. And loyalty solutions. So we want to reward people when they are in attendance at the games, if they come to parent teacher conferences or if they come to career fairs in the school. We want to give them some type of reward program that goes towards purchase of swag that they can then in turn trade in. Um, we also have GPS and QR check-in. So if they come to the school for a um, music night then or recital, then what happens is the GPS automatically can tell that they came and then you can look at the attendance later on to see how many parents came, at least how many parents came that have the app. And also, obviously, in-app promotions and special offers that we only give to people that have downloaded the mobile application. Number two, generating revenue. We increase your revenue through in-app purchases. We build you a store. You can sell your swag in the store. You can also take donations inside of the app or even sell event tickets ahead of time. 
the third way we actually build value with our clients is to increase the school engagement. We set up geolocation based push notifications to interact with fans when they're near the school building. So what could potentially happen is when someone comes to an event, it can automatically send a notification telling them to use the door in the rear of the building. Simple, but definitely effective. We can also send out targeted push notifications to specific user groups. Like if we just want to send notification to basketball and football, but soccer and, and tennis did not want to receive the basketball and football, football uh, notifications, then we can separate those. We can, we can get as granular as we want. We send notifications to drive traffic to, um, through social media and to social media. So we can pull the Facebook fans that we have, all those thousands of fans, we can start marketing right back to those fans for them to download the mobile application and then in turn, um, you know, create that community, that community of fans. And that's just building up the information from Facebook, which if you send a message out, it's not necessarily possible to touch everyone when you do that. So if we, if we send a message out through those fans, to those fans through our application, then they're automatically going to receive the notification because it comes through as a text message on their phone. And then also we're going to reward students and teachers publicly directly through the mobile application, allowing the students and teachers to actually engage the content. Four, reach fans where they are. We live in a society where people are always on their phones. The kids can't wait to get out of class to check their Facebook, to check their messages. So if they're always on their phones, let's meet them where they are and make things simpler for them to do. Put your information in front of your fans multiple times per day. And I'm not saying we send out notifications over and over again. What I'm saying is, is that if you have a notification that goes out and it opens up a tab inside of the app, if I go back to that app, I'm going to see that information again. You know, while I'm scrolling around on my phone, I'm going to see the logo for the school every time I'm moving around on my desktop on my phone. So it's great branding. People will always choose the least path of resistance to interact with your brand. And a mobile app is the easiest way for them to reach out to you, engage with your information, engage with your brand, engage with um, your other stakeholders, and also allow us to call them to action to then in turn make a decision or to purchase or to attend. And last but not least, number five is affordability. In the past, a mobile app would cost upwards towards um, $20,000 to develop or more. Um, previously, only large schools and affiliations could afford one, but not anymore. We've simplified the mobile app development process so that every school can have one. Every school can afford a mobile application. It is not out of the reach. And we even show our um, schools how to recoup um, all of the revenue that all of the monies that they spent in the first 30 days. That's right. In the first 30 days, we can recoup everything that you started to build the mobile application. We can recoup those 30 days after you are actually um, up and running on Apple and Google. So let's do a live demo of the mobile application. I want everyone to personally review an app live. So I want you to go to www.kennedymspto.org or you can text the word KMS app to 71441. My name is TC Bell. I've had an awesome time explaining to you the wonderful benefits of having a mobile application and how you, it can help you to inform, engage, and call to action your current fan base, and also fans in the community. If you have any issues, questions um, that may arise, I wanted to give you my phone number, my email contact. Don't call me after dinner time. You've called me too late. Call me before dinner so I can make it over. <laughs> so that's my cell phone number. You can call me direct at that line. If I don't answer, just leave me a message. And my email is just below it, info at evolutiondma.com. Uh, my assistant will grab the email off of that server 
and make sure that you put my name somewhere inside of the body, preferably in the subject line of the email. That way I will, she will know to, uh, to um, get a hold of me and, and get me on the horn with you if uh, there's something that we need to speak about or you have any questions that I can answer. So thank you very much. I want to turn the floor back over to our attendees to see if they have any questions that we can answer or if there's a way that we can help kickstart the process and get them in motion and I'm getting them a mobile application built and developed very soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.